What do you think? Should he jump or not? Is he crazy? Oh man, that doesn't look good. That is going to be our home for the next couple of days. So excited. We've come to Authentic on the east coast of Mauritius for a little weekend getaway. Located in the small village of De Frere, this is the only eco-tent site on the island. So this is authentic inside the tent and it's it's well it's glamping it's it's a luxurious campsite you're outside you're in a tent each tent comes stocked with a double bed two single beds and another single bed underneath a single bed so in essence you can sleep five people height of luxury wonderful These 12 tents are positioned on the banks of the Grand River southeast and they're beautifully kitted out. My favourite feature is this outside shower. <laughs> and just look at this amazing scenery, the perfect place to take advantage of the many activities on offer. We're diving straight into it, we're going to go for a kayak because you know we don't do things by half measures here We've got to make the most of our time here and that's the light, so bit of a small one in it but it'll do Ta -da! let's go and now there's something you're gonna love it okay oh, yeah. good luck you won't tip i promise okay Making use of the kayaks is a unique and eco-friendly way to explore the river and the mangroves. It's gorgeous, this mangrovey section, look. Of course, mangroves are so important for coastal regions because they hold the earth together and prevent erosion. If you're lucky, as we were on this day, you'll spot the local monkeys in the trees coming for their breakfast. It is really quite beautiful. We've walked up the little rocky bank and we're now basically above the waterfall and there's this beautiful ravine and loads of bats around but it's just wild and jungly and, and really, really nice. The other thing that's quite spectacular here that you have to try is the food. Lunch and dinner, breakfast, authentic Creole food, really good. All the dishes are prepared right in the kitchen on the riverbanks by a wonderful team of expert Mauritian chefs. And you can see just how fresh the local ingredients are. Such a treat. And there's veggies that are growing, there's nice tents, there's a pool, there's everything.
So after kayaking, making use of the daily morning boat trip to Ilaser was a must. This boat takes 30 minutes to get to the island and leaves every morning at 9.30. It's pretty touristy when you step off the boat. You can see here Matt accosted straight away. But if you walk a bit, you can quickly get away from the masses and find your own little piece of paradise. The snorkeling in the aquamarine water is amazing too, but be very careful as there are sea urchins everywhere and you definitely don't want to stand on one of those. Ouch. You'll find the bluest water on the entire island is right here. Absolutely stunning. I mean, just look at that. Time of the year October I would say is the best time of the year to come because it's when it's not quite summer yet so you still get some nice breezes it's not too hot at night so you don't need a fan you're very comfortable just with your duvet well we've had a really good time here but sadly all good things must come to an end but before going, you have to make a wish and add it to the special tree. Hope it comes true. <laughs> so my advice to you is to check out this place because it's really cool. It's a little bit different from a hotel. It just gives you a, another feeling of Mauritius. So all in all, a fantastic birthday weekend. It was really good. <laughs>